Let's go, family. Good morning. Have you put God first? Do you want to be equipped with that bing, bing, boom, baby? That knockout punch every single day to the devil because we ain't going to listen to his schemes no more. And the two most amazing weapons that every human being in humanity needs, it's an absolute game changer. It's an absolute game changer. And this is grace because we're sinful at nature. We make mistakes. We make mistakes within our spirit and these add up and then these bond us. These, these, these end up giving us shame and guilt and we can't stop focusing on them. But when God gives you that amazing a weapon called grace, we're able to feel forgiven. We're able to feel forgiven. And then he gives us that bread and butter, baby. The faith so we can stop future tripping. We can feel the fear and do it anyways. We can stop worrying about tomorrow. The two things that we cannot control is our past. Don't stumble on something behind you. Stop tripping up on your past. It's in the past for a reason. And we cannot control our future. But if we put it in God's hands, we know he's working everything out for our good. And now what's today? It's God's present to be able to seize the moment with good intent and be able to become the right thing. And since we're made in the image of God, we'll end up starting to feel good on the inside and our spirit will start to be fulfilled and the integrity will come back and the self-esteem will come back and you'll start to be fulfilled again. And you'll start to be able to wake up and be like, let's go baby. And you're knocking the devil out every day because you're walking with God and you're starting to see those fiery arrows. But the number one thing, the gift of all gifts, what the Lord is trying to do, he's literally trying to turn that worst decision that you ever made in your entire life. And he's trying to turn that into the most powerful day of your testimony. When you get up there and you share your story and you talk about that moment when you didn't even believe there was a God, that you were just going and you were miserable and you hated life. And now you'll look back as you walk with God more and more every single day, your past will start to make more sense, even your worst days. And you'll be able to pull gratitude which releases small amounts of dopamine from your brain. You'll be able to pull gratitude from that worst day and you'll be able to go back. And when the mind tries to trick you, I know for me as an addict, the mind tries to trick you and say, oh, hey, remember that time you did that Adderall in those first three months and everything was so bomb? That's not the way it is. It disguises itself as heaven and drugs take you straight to hell. That's the end game of a drug addict is hell on earth hell on earth but because of that hell on earth i have been pulled from through the grace of god i now go to that day and i pull gratitude from it when i start to feel ungrateful i'm like man remember when you were on the side of that walmart with needle track marks all over your body and you were crying yeah i'm gonna pull gratitude from that day and as we walk with god he wants to turn that into the most powerful day of your testimony and that to me is the absolute amazing most awesome gift that god can give you and then he equips you with the game changers grace and faith for a human being these are game changers we need these two weapons every single day because of our nature because of our nature man hey if you don't mind hitting that like button just come up it doesn't cost you nothing just look at it right there and just Boom, baby, hit that like button and that pushes out the algorithm for me. Don't mind spreading my channel and let's continue to spread the good news. There's enough evil on the internet that we can continue to spread the good news and talk about the Lord and talk about God in a positive way and stay upbeat, motivated, and let's continue to move and groove with the Lord. Like I said, the Lord wants to give you one grace to faith and turn your worst day into the most powerful day of your testimony that you can pull gratitude from every single day. Tomorrow, I'm honored to speak to the Hesperia High School baseball team, which is so awesome. I get, I'm gonna talk to them as if I'm talking to my younger self and I'm guiding my younger self through life, give them great, amazing advice on the best coaching, on the best pitching advice I ever heard, the best hitting advice I ever heard, and to definitely fall in love with the process, stop worrying about results. Results will bury you down with pressure. Love the process, love the work, wake up, love getting with God, love prayer, love reading the Bible, love putting God first, love your job, have a good attitude, and become the blessing every single day. I hope we got some energy off this video, and you know what I like to do, because I'm the Dick Vitella. I hope, let's go, baby!